Welcome to the new reconciliation screen for the online version of QuickBooks. The first thing we want to do is go over to our gear and grab Reconcile. The screen opens up to find your balance and also reconcile an account. And this is where you'll go to find all your accounts, including credit cards. Reconcile like a pro. This is a guide to help you when you select Let's Do It to actually tell you what each box means and what needs to be populated. The Reconcile screen opens up for you to select your checking or credit card account. Of course, filling in the ending balance and ending date of your bank statement. You can also enter any service or interest charges here. This will save you time so you don't have to enter it into your register. Next thing you want to hit is Start Reconciling. The reconciliation screen opens up. It's a bit new, but the main points are right here. Your ending balance, your beginning balance, and of course the difference. You want to select the items that you want to clear off the bank statements by selecting the check mark on the right here. I also sort my payments and my deposits here with the up or down arrow so that I can sort them by the amount. If I'm doing large bank statements, it's easier to reconcile when you're just looking for the amount. If you need to add a check on the fly, just keep the screen open and select check. Fill in your check that you need, and in this case it was a lease payment, and then hit save. This will then populate the bank reconciliation, and you'll notice that here. And I've already put my check mark on it. Key is the difference is zero. You want to make sure that the payments and the deposits match what the bank statement says and reconcile to a full zero. But that's a new look at the screens that are out there. Nothing scary, just looks a little bit different.